All right, so I'm doing this really quick. That's why it's bad quality. But I didn't notice until now that this had a couple nicks in the cord. So it's got one right here. Now, I really don't think that was from me. That's all the way down to the normal wire on the inside. That is not good. That's actually really bad. Like, that is actually a pretty bad nick. Right there. And then there was like a random one right here. That one might have been for me, but I don't know. That one goes throughout the cord for a bit. <laughs> I don't remember running over the cord with this at all. And then another little nick right there. So I'd really, yeah, you can even see from this angle how bad that one actually is. So yeah, that one's pretty bad. Now, if that was for me, that's embarrassing. No, but, I mean, it could have been, but I really don't like running over cords, so it's really hard to believe. Um, I could have, but it, this doesn't necessarily have stiff bristles. It's just got dense bristles. Like, I don't visualize it doing that. I don't remember it doing that at all, so... One second. You're just gonna wanna come right back in, dude. Yeah, drink that water dripping from the Ultima hose. But yeah, so you can see, not good. I don't know if those were there before. If those are from me, that's embarrassing. But I really don't think they were. I don't think they were from Andrew either, but, cause he's not, I mean, I think I have seen him run over cords before, but I don't think it was on purpose. I mean, we all run over cords on accident. I don't visualize any of us vacuum collectors being able to say honestly that we've never run it, ran over a cord before. I can say honestly that I've ran over plenty of vacuum cords. Now, was it on purpose? No. So that's why I'm not going to, you know, say that I didn't do that because it is possible. Now, cords are very easily replaceable, but... And I'll probably just get a 35 foot one to put on it because it's not like that really makes it less original. I mean, a cord is a fucking cord. And a 35 foot would actually be kind of nice on this because my power groom has a 35 foot cord, but I much prefer this over the power groom in terms of filtration. But, um, yeah. Otherwise, this thing, I've been using it all day and I'm going to be using it more often now because it's going to be taking place of my Ultima because that's getting torn apart already done quite a bit on it there's the main body i took off this panel took out the whole upper chamber and washed all that so it's nice and clean out of there um cleaned up some of the wiring redid the, they like put this electrical tape on all the wiring and it was like all flaking off so i put new electrical tape and shit this base needs to be cleaned up still some more right here to be cleaned i'm gonna clean that turbo brush out and then the handle is right here. If anyone knows where I can find a new handle because I have, shush, I, shut up. I need to replace this handle to get rid of this hole here and this crack. So, yeah. But for now it's still functional because I just glued this in. I don't know why we didn't think of gluing it in back then. Maybe we just didn't really think glue would work or we couldn't find a glue that would work. Shut up. And then, um, yeah, so. Shush. So yeah, if I can find a new handle, that would be nice. Although, probably wouldn't be able to find one that's in the good, uh, this good a condition throughout the rest of it. Maybe one that's in better condition right there. But the rest of these are normally all beat up and all scratched up on the end here. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I wish these were two different pieces here. Like this caddy piece was a different piece. Little bastard. <laughs> he 
these are all the parts that I've washed so far. Um, we got the bin, this upper filter piece, the dusting, the caddy thing. Um, and then, yeah, and I made sure I washed this out really well. So, because it's, this thing has never been torn down and cleaned for 15 years. And then this piece can need to be polished until it's pretty bad where the dirt would obviously come up and sandblasted. So I'll polish that up. This piece, foam filter. And I have three more of these, I believe. Maybe that was a five pack, I don't know, but I have more of these at my grandparents' house because that's where this Ultima was, was at my grandparents' house. And I just kept all the parts that I bought for it there because I planned on it keep staying there because I kind of liked it being there because it wouldn't get like used as much because I do find myself wanting to use this a lot. But I think as long as I keep it clean and I'll make sure I don't like suck up anything really filthy with it, it should be fine to have it here and use it. So yeah, and then this could probably stand to be replaced but it's also like only five years old. These foam pieces are the parts that go out, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> this was just a random little video, but yeah, stay tuned for more, peace. And I have some natural dirt videos that I'm gonna post of this that I did before I started tearing it apart.